Missionary Air Squadron isn't really a tabletop role-playing game, but more accurately described as a tabletop mercenary air squad simulator, and it's fucking awesome! The game has you take the role of a mercenary air squadron, having to bet on jobs, flying missions in vaguely Cold War planes in the far future of the early 2010s, and generally being a kick-ass super pilot. The game is played entirely on its own board, with every tool being a series of tokens to print out and manage. Its abstraction serves as probably one of the better methods of depiction of air combat as it wants you to get into the headspace of the pilots in the mission more than calculate every detail. However, if you're going into this game for ace combat, you're not going to get that. You're getting a game about being in a mercenary air squadron, not the melodramatic high-octane arcade flyer of a demon of the round table. What it does do is entertaining, as it's designed for solo play, taking your group of daring flyboys on a one-way mission to kill everything or die trying. Blitzstage is Evangelion if Anno decided to take ketamine instead of being depressed. Taking the role of teenage pilots and their anchors, the players are thrust into the erotic tension of being saviors of humanity in one of the most grim setting imaginable as sleep paralysis demon aliens threaten to destroy humanity. Luckily, humanity has developed the Anima, which allows a single pilot into the world of dreams and fight the alien threat, calling upon the power of relationships to form their dream mech. The game is effectively a fate game in how it plays, however, the relationship system is what makes the game actually work. It's melodramatic, it's silly, it involves a lot of overt sexual themes among teenagers. It's also incredibly narrow narrative driven, much to its detriment in some aspects. This isn't an Evangelion game you're looking for, but a very much its own bizarre thing. I l wanted to love Remnants, as the initial pitch gave my hard hope for a better future. A post-apocalyptic tribal society has to pilot mechs of a long-forgotten empire, battling out in intense mech battles. Combine it with the fact those damn mechs evolve with the pilot, growing stronger and larger through gameplay, and it nearly sold me. The issue is that the game is built using the Rapid Fire Engine, a relatively simple D6 system that emphasizes strong cinematic play. That entire opening spiel is more stapled onto this system rather than the system being built around it, leading to things such as situational awareness mechanic and not much in the way of customization of the remnant that feels like you're piloting this strange and bizarre weapon of war. This leads to some odd moments where the game struggles to add more stuff for the remnant to do and the supposed stars of the show to really show off. With only three skills of the pilot dedicated to actually piloting it, most of which are pretty dull. The traits can bring a bit of life to the Remnant, but most of these things are things like Digger, or Motion Tracker, or Power Strike. It doesn't really sell the tribal mecha feeling that I was hoping for. It's a functional system, but it's the rapid fire system first, then the Remnant system. That concludes Odd Little Games number three. My name is Notepad Anon, and this was a collection of oddities, strangers, and generally mysterious things.